Film composer John Williams has been making music history for some six decades. He's been nominated for more Oscars than anyone currently alive, that's 52, in five wins, and has written some of the most memorable themes for the movies. From Jaws and Star Wars to Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T., the extraterrestrial. It's not a surprise, then, to find out that talent runs in his family. His son, Joseph, is an accomplished singer who made a few marks on the soundscape of the 80s. When Joseph was starting his career as a 22-year-old vocalist, he was commissioned by his dad to write lyrics to a song John recorded for a film. Granted, there already were lyrics, just in a completely made-up alien language. That's right, Lapty Neck, the song sung by the band at Jabba the Hutt's Palace in Return of the Jedi, became Work It Out, a silly if catchy tune about dancing. Lapty Neck was unbelievably released to dance clubs that year, and Joseph also put together a studio band called Earth to record a version himself. Joseph's most notable work in the 80s occurred when he was called in as the vocalist in the smooth rock band Toto. After scoring immortal 80s hits like Africa and Rosanna, in the early 80s, a follow-up smash was harder to come by. That changed when Williams joined the group. Though he did not sing lead on I'll Be Over You, a warm keyboard-driven ballad with a vocal cameo, he sang lead on two of Toto's albums in the 80s, Fahrenheit 1986 and The Seventh One in 1988 and rejoined the band in the 2010s where he sings to this day. He's also done some key work for Disney. His vocals powered the catchy theme for the cartoon series The Adventures of the Gummy Bears, and he can also be heard as the singing voice of Simba in the 1994 blockbuster The Lion King, where he lent his vocals to unforgettable Elton John penned song Akuna Matata and Can You Feel the Love Tonight. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.